Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate Pride Month and to raise the Progress Pride flag at Alberta Government Centers. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that Alberta is on Treaty 6, 7, and 8 territory. The land holds a deep importance for the Métis people of Alberta, and Pride is a time when the LGBTQ plus uh, community comes together to celebrate our community, but also reflect on our community's history and to those who came before us who fought for our rights so that we can live freely and without prejudice today. But also that we use Pride Month to understand that there are barriers that are still needed to be broken down, especially for our friends in the Indigenous, Black and trans community. I wish everyone a happy Pride Month and I hope they celebrate with friends and family in any way they can. I would like to now introduce Her Honour, the Honourable Salma Hani, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, to say a few words. Your Honour. Thank you, Dustin. Good evening and hello, everyone. It is my great pleasure to join you today for this wonderful celebration of diversity, inclusivity, and understanding. Events like Pride Month are extremely important because they remind us of the active role that each of us can play in fostering acceptance, support, and equal opportunity for all LGBTQ2S plus members of our communities. Our province becomes stronger with every step we take to lift up those around us and with everything we do to ensure that all Albertans are able to freely share the full measure of their spirit and their abilities. It is an ever evolving process and there will always be more that we can do to make our society as open and inclusive as possible. This annual celebration is a great opportunity for us to celebrate the progress we have made together and to recommit ourselves to achieving even greater success in the future. As Her Majesty the Queen's representative in Alberta, I offer my heartfelt thanks to all the dedicated leaders and advocates across our province who are forging a path forward in this very essential work. The COVID crisis has been difficult for everyone and I'm very aware that some members of our LGBTQ2S plus community have experienced additional stress due to isolation from the people and groups they would normally turn to for support. On that note, I would like to recognize everyone in the community who has been working on the front lines throughout the pandemic, and particularly those who have been focused on delivering health care, mental health, and social supports. Thank you so much to everyone who has been working to keep vital lines of communication and assistance open for those to, in need. Finally, I would like to recognize our wonderful host, the Honorable Leela Ahir and her amazing team at Alberta Culture, Multiculturalism and Status of Women. Heartfelt thanks to each of you for your ongoing commitment to fostering the true spirit of pride during this special month and more importantly, throughout the year. Thank you all. Please keep up the great work and happy Pride Month to all. Thank you. Next speaker is Leela Ahir, Minister of Culture, Multiculturalism and Status Woman and MLA for Chestermer Strathmore. Minister. Thanks, Dustin. And uh, thank you, Your Honour. Um, it is always very, very difficult to follow you after you speak. Um, you say everything with such beauty and such strength, and it's a real privilege to have you here with us this evening. Uh, I would like to please take a moment to recognize my government colleagues who have joined us for today's virtual celebration to celebrate 2S LGBTQ plus Pride Month. Happy Pride, we're so excited, even though it's virtual. Uh, her, of course, Her Honor, the Honorable Salma Lakhani, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, Minister Nally, Minister Sani, and Minister Wilson, 
and MLA Lovely, MLA Nixon, MLA Isaac, and MLA Turton. Raising the progress pride flag above Alberta's government centers is a symbol of respect and love and of belonging. And it shows that to Albertans that here, we don't just value the diversity of our 2SLGBTQ plus people and communities, but that we honor everything that they have contributed to our communities and together. And that we as the government and the people of this province stand with them firmly by their sides. Thank you so much for um, understanding what we have gone through this month and for helping us to postpone this Pride Month flag raising from June 1st to today. Uh, the flags of Alberta at the government, as you know, in the centers were flown at half mast for 215 hours in the memory of our 215 little souls who died at the Kamloops Residential School. We continue to grieve this loss and stand with survivors and of course work towards reconciliation. Pride Month is a chance to reflect on our history and to look towards the future. The rainbow flag was first designed to represent the diversity of the 2S LGBTQ plus communities united in their pride and in their pursuit of equal rights and freedoms. When it was first used in 1987 in San Francisco pride parades, volunteers handmade their flags. And now this flag is used worldwide to show allyship and love and today we were very honored to raise the Progress Pride flag. This is the most recent version of the flag and this is to show our deep seated respect and inclusion for the transgender people and people of color. It's an umbrella that shelters all of us and many different and unique expressions of self and of love. And a rainbow appears after a storm as a representation of perseverance and hope. We have come so far from the Stonewall riots that inspired the very first Pride celebrations from San Francisco and that Pride Parade. And this is the one that introduced the Pride flag to the world. But there's still, as Her Honor said, and I would also like to repeat, so much work that needs to be done. I don't know about you, but I think collectively, we draw so much inspiration from the bravery and determination of those who have really, really paved this path forward for us. And we commit to protecting and empowering all people in Alberta's 2SLGBTQ plus communities. I know, like yourselves, we need and desire Alberta to be a place where we don't have to fear for our safety because of who we love or how we express our gender. We collectively seek that Alberta is a place where two as LGBTQ plus Albertans feel free to be their true selves in all spaces. And I'm so excited to be able to celebrate with you. And I would hope that all Albertans will work to understand and respect and celebrate all of this diversity because truly it's a source of our strength. So I'm very proud. Very proud to be able to work alongside community leaders and members and advocates and allies because together we're going to build the most amazing future together. Thank you so much. Words. It is now my pleasure to introduce Chevy Rabbit as our next speaker. Chevy has been a long advocate for the 2SLGB2Q plus Alberns and someone I actually have known since our Red Deer College days. In 2017, she was the first transgender person to be recognized on the Avenue Magazine's Top 40 Under 40 list. She also founded the Hate to Hope campaign, which raises awareness about hate and discrimination towards Indigenous people. Chevy? Before I'd like to begin, I'd like to thank uh, Minister Leela Ahir of Culture and Status of Women for giving me this unique opportunity to talk about Pride Month. Uh, my name is Chevy Rabbit and I am from Pinocchio, Alberta and a member of Montana Cree Nation, which is one of four nations of Musqueachies. Um, I'm, I'm here to talk about Pride Month and how far we've come. My role as a advocate here in Alberta beyond human rights and hate crimes awareness is one as an educator. I spent a good decade ed educating Alberta 
on gender identities and hate crimes awareness and building safe and inclusive communities so that people who are different, people who are creative and LGBTQ don't have to walk down the street without facing harassment, don't have to go and get groceries and make it a political act, you know. So part of my role is just creating that awareness and creating those safe spaces and also being a voice of change um, here in Alberta because we all deserve respect, we all deserve dignity, and we all deserve mutual respect. And we've come a long way as a province, but we have so much further to go. And I'm really grateful for the roles that I've been doing this past decade, creating awareness through Hate to Hope, which is going on its 11th year. Um, I've spoke at countless colleges and school. I was the keynote speaker at the U of A Pride Week. And I'm also a board of directors of Hate Crimes Awareness, newly elected. And I'm also on the diversity committee for the RCMP of Alberta. And part of my role is to create safe places, safe spaces for LGBT people so they can go to work, so they can live, and so they can invest in communities that are accepting, loving, and caring, and kind. And so let's all do our part and let's celebrate Pride Month, but let's walk our talk when it comes to it. Let's walk our talk in creating mutual respect conversations. Let's walk our talk in general. Thank you. Peace, love, respect. Thank you, Chevy, for sharing your thoughts today. Next up is Dr. Kelly Ernst. Dr. Ernst is the founder, principal, consultant, and president of the, of the Strategic Intelligence Alliance Incorporated. He is also the inaugural winner of the Stars of Alberta Volunteer Award in the Breaking Barriers category. This award recognizes exceptional volunteers who are working to create communities that are diverse and inclusive. Dr. Ernst won this award for his work in advocating for 2SLGBTQ plus inclusion. Dr. Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly Ernst. I'm the president of the End of the Rainbow Foundation. Um, I want to wish everybody a very happy Pride season. Um, just a reminder that Alberta has come an awfully long way. About 30 years ago, if you tried to make a human rights complaint with the Human Rights Commission based on sexual orientation, you would be sent away. In fact, I did that. I was sent away from the Human Rights Commission 30 years ago because my complaint was based on discrimination because I was a gay man. Um, today, thankfully, that kind of thinking has gone away with the dinosaurs and that isn't gonna happen again. But we have to be vigilant to make sure that those kind of things stay that way, that we continue to have all of our rights and more. So Pride season for me is really important because it's an annual event that tells all of us, each and single person in Alberta, that if we're not vigilant, our rights are gonna erode away. So make sure you celebrate it, make sure you get out on the street and walk in the pride parades and go to an event and celebrate um, our human rights. Um, because if you don't, um, they will whittle away. So with that, my final thought is, please get vaccinated, get waxed and go on to a pride party, but for heaven's sakes, do it in that order. Have a great pride season. Thank you, Dr. Ernst. Our next guest is Nazar Adem. Nazar is a queer Muslim Oromo creator and was the Youth Poet Laureate of Edmonton from 2016 to 2017. Now she is the director of Sister to Sister, an artistic showcase for women and my femme and women of color. She is also the festival director of Black Arts Matter, an interdisciplinary Black Arts Festival in Edmonton. Nazar? Hello, hello, and happy Pride! I am Nasra, a queer, Oromo, non-binary, multidisciplinary artist in Ameskwachi Waskahigan, also known as Edmonton, Alberta. And I am always honored to be a part of the Pride Conversations. To me, Pride is um, a sacred month, a sacred way of being um, that honors the multitude of contributions that queerness and um, LGBTQ2IA plus 
um, people, the magic that they've offered the world, um, and the freedom that is still very much owed to us. This poem I'm gonna share with you is a sweet, a sweet moment um, called Blush, and I hope you receive this sweetness. If I am the one to sing her into a new body, let it be a sweet rebirth, a ripe pear slipping from its weathered skin, sticky flesh to fill round mouths, let it be her mouth. If I'm to answer to anything, let it be her mouth or the pink of it, its freak and spit and loyal tongue if I am to answer to anything, let it be her cheek or the flurry of heat rising beneath it. I am blush and the men agree too often, but the men have forgotten their tongues at home. If I am to answer to anything, let it be the wine and its furnace. Let it be the soft cyclone of burning sage. Let it be her name thousand times coated in mango and chili in ash in blood as long as the taste lingers as long as it slows the hollowing if i'm to answer to anything let it be the moon the naked brown witch let it be the holy cry of ecstasy let it be punk or at least it's leathered aesthetic. Because at least then something black and skinned might live. At least here, fire is alive. At least if we are burning, we are doing something. Thanks y'all, have a beautiful, beautiful, colorful pride. Thank you, Nazra. The Progress Pride flags were raised earlier today at the McDougal Center in Calgary and the Violet King Henry Plaza in Empton. Please join me now in watching the videos of flags being raised. I would like to thank everyone who tuned in online for showing your pride and your support today. And to thank you all to the guest speakers and performers, Her Honor, the Honorable Sama Lahani, the Honorable Leela Bahir, Kelly Ernst, Chevy Rabbit, and Nazra Adem. I hope that next year we will be able to re return to, in, to the wonderful in-person festivities in Pride, and I will see you all again very soon. Have a great rest of your evening. <laughs>